the next important point which i need to discuss is about the word field here also here also acha first of all let me talk about field and let me give you its definition because uh, when i talk about vector space i talk i say that vector this is a vector space over the field this is a vector that is a vector space over the field but we do not know the field's definition so first of all let me give you the definition of the field let me write the field's field's definition over here and then i am going to talk about something else so a field capital f just a minute a field capital f is a set is a set on which on which two operations two operations plus and dot called addition and multiplication addition and multiplication are defined are defined so that so that for each pair for each pair of elements of elements x comma y in f x comma y in f there are there are unique there are unique elements there are unique elements x plus y and x dot y in f in f for which for which the following properties are satisfied and what are these properties these properties are very simple first property is denoted by f1 and it is a plus b is equal to b plus a so we say that addition is commutative addition is commutative and a dot b is equal to b dot a so we say that multiplication is commutative multiplication is commutative property number 2 f2 is a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c and a dot b dot c is equal to a dot b dot c so here addition is associative and here multiplication is associative multiplication is associative then we have property number f3 which says that there exist an element a, there exist a distinct element distinct element zero in f such that such that a plus 0 is equal to a for all a in f 0 is called additive identity 
zero is called additive identity and there exist a unique element there exist a unique element one in f such that such that one into a is equal to a for all a in f one is called multiplicative identity multiplicative identity okay and property number f4 i'm going to the i'm going to the next page if you are not finished then i'm i'll again come back to this particular page and then you can write it because i have to discuss some things here also so let me finish the writing first of all property number f4 is for each element for each element a in f there exist an element c in f such that such that a plus c is equal to 0 where c is the additive inverse c is the additive inverse of a and for each element for each element a in f there exist an element d in f such that such that a into d is equal to 1 d is called multiplicative multiplicative inverse of a we commonly know it as we commonly know it uh, as uh, reciprocal the children know this term as reciprocal okay and lastly in property f4 f5 which actually combines plus addition f5 actually combines the addition operation plus plus and multiplication operation dot and it gives you the property simple property it is called a plus a dot b plus c equal to a dot b plus a dot c a very simple property which we often use and this is called a distributive property distributive property so with these properties with these properties uh, the structure the structure by structure i actually mean the algebraic structure the algebraic structure f comma plus comma dot is a field is a field so these are the these are the characteristics of field now you see now you see if you think if you think that they very they are they look like very similar to the vector space property then i must say then it is not because in vector space let us denote the term vector space the term vector space for simplicity by vs this property this property a plus b equal to b plus a is there in the vector space but this is not present in the vector space a dot b is equal to b dot a there is no such property like this this property is there this similar is similar property is present in the vector space but this property is not present in the vector space the vector space because do not think do not uh, actually confuse this particular statement do not confuse this with do not confuse this with this one a dot b dot x equal to a dot b dot x 
because here these two quantities are scalars it is a vector here all these quantities are scalar quantities so there is no such these two things are not same remember they are not same let me write it over here otherwise you will you may become confused once again not not same remember not same okay additive identity this is present in this is present in vector this uh, let me use a separate color this is present in vector space okay similar is the similar thing is present in vector space but this is not this is something different don't confuse this particular thing with the statement 1 into x 1 dot x equal to x because here one is a scalar quantity and x is the vector quantity we do not say we do not say that uh, this the characteristics of these two, two terms are different in the definition of vector space actually but here both the terms are actually scalar okay so they are not same if you think that they are same they are not okay and if we come to this particular point if we come to this particular point similar thing is present in vector space similar case is present in vector space additive inverse but this is not present in vector space not in vector space such a such property is not present in vector space okay and lastly this thing this thing do not confuse it do not confuse this with the property with a similar property when we write a dot x plus y is equal to a dot x plus a dot y or when we write or <clears throat> when we write a plus b dot x is equal to a dot x plus b dot x try to look at the transformation initially this plus was actually there and now i have used this plus because this plus actually combines the two scalar quantities and this plus is actually combined combining the two vector quantities so do not confuse this property with them they are different although they look very similar but they are different okay this is the most important point and once we get the definition of field then immediately what comes to our mind as an example as an example of field example of field immediately what comes to our mind the the, the set which comes to our mind is the set of real numbers set of real numbers with operation of addition operation of addition and scalar multiplication scalar multiplication defined on it defined on it you will get to see that all the properties all the properties all the properties uh, stated from f1 to f uh, 1 2 3 4 5 f5 all the properties are actually satisfied are actually satisfied for r okay again you can take the set of complex numbers set of complex numbers and defined and define complex number addition and multiplication you will get to say that f1 and f2 are satisfied f f1 to f5 are satisfied you take 
uh, <coughs> set of rational numbers then it, it, that is also a field with respect to addition and multiplication operation okay someone has written something let me check why do you write vector space with respect to a field okay someone Abhirup Roy has asked me why do we write vector space the integers cannot be a field integers cannot be a field okay I'm I'm answering one by one okay first of all let me uh, I'm I'm giving you the answers Abhirup and Aniket but uh, let me first talk you talk something about uh, something very, which is also very essential and I, I didn't discuss this properly try to recall try to recall that uh, when we defined vector space, how did we start the definition? We, we said that X belongs to V and for vector space, actually, I'm saying that for vector space, when we started the definition, we wrote that when X belongs to V and uh, Y belongs to V, this implies X plus Y belongs to V. Try to recall, I wrote this. And also I wrote A belongs to F and X belongs to V. This implies A dot X belongs to V. I wrote it. Try to remember. Now for field also, for field also, I have written a similar kind of thing. I have written A belongs to F and B belongs to F implies A plus B belongs to F and C belongs to F and D belongs to F implies C dot b so c dot d belongs to f a b c d are arbitrary numbers a b c d are arbitrary elements these two things these two pairs this pair and that pair they are actually known as they are also very important you shouldn't neglect it these are known as closure property closure property this is also called closure property. Closure property. This is a closure property on V. This is a closure property on F. And when these closure properties are satisfied, we say that V is closed with respect to, with respect to vector addition and scalar multiplication scalar multiplication and when we we find that this is whole this holds then uh, we say that f is closed with respect to addition and multiplication so what we see actually, we see that this, uh, these statements, these terms, these notations, these are very much essential for understanding these algebraic structures known as vector space and fields. Now, uh, the student, uh, as you can, everybody can see that why do we write vector space with respect to a field? It's a very good question. So let me, let me give this answer. The question is, I'm writing the question. The student is asking, why do we consider the question of the student is why do we consider a vector space a vector space over the field okay the answer i am giving the answer with respect to an example if i consider the set of real number if i consider the set of real number we already know that it is a real number set. We already know that uh, the structure R plus dot 
is a field. R plus dot is a field. And uh, if we consider if we consider the example m m cross n f r sorry if we consider this example m m cross n we know that it is a set of set of all possible matrices matrices of order of order m cross n okay now we know the matrices looks like this the matrices looks like this. So we have these elements. These are the elements. Let me write it properly. These are the elements of the matrices. Now, this we know by definition, it is a kind of vector they are considering. Now you ask me, if you ask me, if I put these dots as dots, and if you ask me, how do, how do the, elements look like then what i what should i say so if i say that okay you choose these elements from the set of real numbers if i write in this manner that choose choose matrix elements matrix elements from r so you will say that oh all right then these are the all these are all real numbers so we are considering a, a real number over here a real number over here keeping the order of the matrix same you are considering this all these as real numbers so you are choosing the matrix elements from the real number set okay and then we get the elements and we know that basket has been filled the basket of matrix the matrix has been filled from by taking elements from the basket of real numbers so in that case, we call it as real matrix, real matrix. But say, for example, yeah, and, so, and uh, for example, if someone, suddenly, uh, if someone suddenly says that, okay, let us consider this matrix, let us consider this matrix, zero I minus I zero. This matrix has a tremendous amount of physical significance because this matrix is actually called Pauli spin matrices. Pauli spin matrices. And they are very much essential. They are very much essential in quantum information processing, quantum computing actually. So if someone says that I, in quantum computing, we, should, we have to work with this particular matrix, Immediately, if you will understand the matrix elements are like this. Actually, the matrix elements are like 0 plus i0, 0 uh, plus i, then um, 0 plus uh, minus 1 into i, and 0 plus i0. Everybody will understand that you, ha you have considered a 2 by 2 matrix. You have considered a 2 by 2 matrix over here, where the matrix elements here the matrix elements matrix elements have not been chosen have not been chosen from the set of real numbers all rather they have been chosen have been chosen from complex number set. Although we know that real number is a special uh, subset of a complex, every real number is a complex number because every real number A belonging to R can be expressed in the form A into I zero. So although we know this, but still I can consider that all these matrix elements are complex numbers. So when we talk about the matrix, when we go, when we buy something, if I'm telling this from a pedagogical point of view, when you buy something, oh, okay, if when, we, when you watch a movie and you say, okay, the uh, James Bond movie has come and no time to die, so we have watched it. It's a wonderful movie. Immediately, once you declare that, we ask, where did you watch it? Amazon? Netflix? Uh, have you watched it in uh, Prime? Is it available in Prime Video? 
or is it uh, we have to go to uh, theater so movie is in if you consider the movie to be the element the movie is being taken from a kind of basket it's available somewhere where is it available so that is very important so when we talk about matrix if we say that i have a matrix this 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 statement is not complete if we say that i have a matrix whose element is chosen from the set of real numbers then your statement is complete i have a matrix whose elements are rational numbers all i have a matrix whose elements are complex numbers it is all right i have a sequence who which take all the natural numbers to the set of real numbers it is all right so then you are you can say that your state with the statements is complete and therefore and therefore ovidup's answer i am giving vector space cannot exist cannot exist alone they need a companion and that is field that is field and therefore we say that it is a vector space over the field that okay yeah it aniket like we choose to buy potatoes from the field of vegetables exactly you can relate anything to your par personal experiences and here also shivam kumar is also very uh, 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 aniket has written that uh, aniket has written that the send he has written the set of integers is not he has written that set of integers uh aniket actually wrote that uh, set of integer is not a field set of integer is not a field and shivam correctly replied and shivam correctly replied that yeah it is true because except one except one other non zero elements other non zero as well as the zero element other non zero element and the zero element zero element has no according to the child reciprocal or according to an adult a multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse now uh, this is the thing why uh, actually <clears throat> this is the thing why actually it is essential to it is very much essential to get to know what we are working with what are the operations and if the under, understanding of the set and the operation is not clear there was a vague idea among your minds about the vector space and its uh, uh, calculations and etc which i discussed in my two previous two previous classes but if the understanding is not clear because you cannot just bluff with a math, with a, with mathematics i cannot escape by saying a particular statement which has no relevance or which is vague when i didn't discuss it or when i missed the point of the sequence problem but aniket raised the question and i didn't reply to him properly then aniket tried his level tried his level best to 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 uh, put the key into the hole properly but it was not fitting because we were the understanding was not clear we were he was trying to do it, i was trying to do it forcefully okay but mathemat mathematics is a kind of subject where you cannot play bluffs you have to be very much sure about you have the hole you have the key and you have to put them together otherwise you cannot lock the door that is the thing that is the issue one thing which i must i hope that you are understanding my point today's class is i think is actually uh, helpful for you i don't know whether you have understood or not some people who are actually missing the points they can again revisit my videos later on so that uh, you can go through one again and again uh, and uh, you will understand definitely uh, by then i want to say something 
uh, which uh, was actually a question raised, uh, this uh, question raised by again Aniket. Okay, so this is not a question actually, he, he shared with me something and I'm going to uh, show it to you. He asked me, he asked me that sir, uh, from somewhere he has got this note. I don't know from where he has got this note and he told me probably were able to see it. Let me see, let me see what. Okay, so he shared this particular note with me and he asked me, sir, can I follow the definition of the field from here? And I said, uh, no. I said, no. Doesn't matter. Aniket, if you are listening to me, I said no to you. I, I said not, I asked you not to follow this note. It is not because this definition is wrong. It is 100% correct definition. But I asked you not to follow it because of these notations. See, do not engage yourself in the avalanche of notations. Okay, try to follow one single book. Plus F, when I write plus F, all the notation, all the, the addition over here, they have written it as plus F. Multiplication has been denoted by dot F. Okay, so if you follow a algebraic structure from a, part, from a book and you flow, follow the another algebraic structure from another book and if the two algebraic structures are connected, uh, two algebraic structures are connected together somehow, then you cannot prepare your mathematics. Aniket, one thing about Bangla is that you have to know the Bangla as well as you have to know the Bangla. You have to know the Bangla as well as you have to know the Bangla. You have to know the Bangla as well as you have to know the Bangla as well as you have এবার সেই আলু দুটো আলু দুটো আলুই তুমি কিনে নিয়ে এলে বাজার থেকে এবার তুমি কি দেখবে যখন দুটো আলুকে তুমি সেদ্ধ করতে যাবে একটা বেশি ভালো সেদ্ধ হয়ে যাচ্ছে আর একটা কম সেদ্ধ হচ্ছে ঠিক আছে তো তোমার কি হবে প্রিপারেশনটা ভালো হবে না তাহলে তোমাকে যে জিনিসটা কিনতে ইউ হ্যাভ টু বাই দা সিমিলার পটেটোস ফ্রম সিমিলার পটেটোস সো দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান কুক ইট ওয়েল ইউ ক্যানট ক্যানট টেক টু ডিসিমিলার পটেটোস and that will not be boiled properly. Okay, similar is the case with these mathematics also. If you want to follow a particular note, okay, then you follow the note in its entirety. You are choosing the field, definition of field from a note and vector, sp vector space definition from the Friedberg book and you are connecting them together, you will be lost in the uh, uh, avalanche of notations, okay? So I will suggest you, I will suggest you, okay, let me show you something. <clears throat> I will suggest you that you must follow to, if you want to follow the definition of field, you must follow the uh, Friedberg book because you see in the Friedberg book also, in the Friedberg book also, the definition of field is there. I'm, I'm showing it to you. This is the appendix from the Friedberg book where you can find the field's definition. You see, that will be more appropriate for you, for you to follow because you can connect, you can connect the two things together because this field definition has been chosen from the same book for which you are following the vectors, from which you are following the vector space chapter. So the same author has written the definition of field and as well as the definition of vector space. Then there will be not there will be no mixture of uh, notations and you will not be lost. So I suggest you to follow the definition from definition of field from the Friedberg book itself. That is the point. And that is actually I'm showing this to, this was Aniket's problem. Aniket asked me that, sir, can I follow this note? I could have replied to him, but I, I, I decided no. It is, maybe it is Aniket's question, but the answer, this is actually the question of the entire class. Aniket is asking, other is not asking. Some, other, some, some, some people are there sitting here also, here only. They are not asking, they, the question is coming to their mind. They, can, they want to shuffle the, between the books. These questions are coming to their man, mind, but they are unable to, uh, they are not un, uh, questioning me. 
they are not raising the question or suppose they are not getting the time for doing that okay for some reason or other this answer is not for aniket question was for kanish question was from aniket but the answer was not from, for aniket the answer is for the entire class follow one book okay do not follow different books if there are the topics are different entirely disconnected if you ask me what books should i follow for calculus then okay you decide that will be later decided but if the topics are connected try to follow it from a single book so with this my actually what the thing which i needed to discuss today i actually uh, am uh, <clears throat> i am actually done with my uh, discussion the points which i wanted to convey to you i am i am done with that so if you are satisfied with me and satisfied with my points my logic then it is all right if you have any queries you can ask me we have 2 minutes 53 seconds left if you do not have any queries you can leave the classroom because i am going going to end the session i hope that i am today i am able to properly communicate to you the points which were not discussed earlier and the doubts from your mind has been has been successfully eliminated if i am right then other students please write yeah avirup as will vector the entire course is my responsibility so i am going to teach you i am going to teach you the vector calculus also and uh, let me proceed with uh, one or two more classes with vector space then i have to take some other topics from some other sections because i have to cover the entire syllabus so if i i uh, keep sitting with the vector space and vector space then other things will not be uh, touched upon and that will be another kind of problem i can send you the notes in advance in some cases where you can go through the notes and i will in the classroom i can discuss the problems only okay so so that's that 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 is the thing which i actually wanted to convey to you and i'm going to upload this video in the youtube and i'm also going to share this thing to with the csb students meanwhile if you get if you know any csb students please tell them that the sir is going to share something with you because tomorrow i have session with them they are i i'm not going to discuss all these things please tell them ki before coming to tomorrow's class they must visit my youtube today's youtube video because otherwise uh, i am not seeing the two sections to get uh, separate i am seeing the sections together because i am teaching the csc stream on okay so this much for today uh, merry christmas and uh, good night okay see you very soon